Hey guys, I'm Gaurav here, and today we're going to talk about the three types of Batman that have appeared in comics since Batman's conception: the Man Among Gods, the Detective, and the In Between. Now then, let's start with the Detective. So, what kind of Batman do I consider the Detective? I call the more human versions of Batman the Detective. What I mean by that is the kind of stories where Batman comes across a crime, searches for clues, makes deductions, and fights mostly humans, and at best, peak-level humans or superhumans. Now there aren't many of this kind of Batman, as making a good realistic Batman is nigh on impossible, as there will always be some inaccuracies. But the ones that are closest to this kind of Batman, in my opinion, are Gotham by Gaslight Batman, Nolan Trilogy Batman, Batman Year One, and Batman of many of the earlier Batman stories. And even though I'm not a writer yet, if I have to write this kind of Batman, I will try to focus more on the fact that this Batman is sort of a illegal private detective. Plus vigilante, and to make it more realistic, I won't give this Batman a Robin or any form of sidekick, as I consider Batman taking a 10-year-old child to fight crime the most unrealistic part out than the Batman mythos, even more unrealistic than his utility belt. Speaking of which, I will give him one, but after severely downgrading it. He will still be a genius with a IQ of 196 at the peak of his career as Batman, with all his knowledge and training. And I will turn most of his rogues gallery a human as well, and make it so that most of his rogues gallery don't have a permanent identity, like someone like Poison Ivy won't have a single person using that name, but. Anyone who is an eco-terrorist as well as uses plant poison to commit crime could be called Poison Ivy. Clayface would be anyone who is a master of disguise and commits crime as someone else. Two-Face would be anyone who is known very positively in the public but is a huge criminal in the underworld, and so on and so forth. But I will let some of these characters have permanent identities. Like Freeze, Penguin, Kite Man, though I will also make sure that they are a very rare to appear kind of villain. And then there will be Joker, whose identity will remain a mystery, so it could be assumed by anyone. But there will always be only one true Joker, and I will make it so that these fake Jokers will appear often. But could be easily dealt with. But whenever the real Joker appears, there will always be death and chaos. Though I will make real Joker's appearance extremely rare. And this is how I believe the detective version of Batman is written, and how I will write it. Now that we are done talking about the detective. Let's talk about the Man Among Gods version of Batman. And if you haven't guessed by now, the kind of Batman I consider the Man Among Gods is the kind of Batman who can beat almost anyone with prep time. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate this Batman. I just love both Batman for completely different reasons. Most of the Stories of today, starting from Dark Knight Returns, are of this kind of Batman as well. The Batman that appears in most Justice League stories is this Batman as well. And finally, I would like to give the most fitting example for this kind of Batman, which is the Batman who laughs. I have heard a lot of people say that Batman who laughs is overpowered and a bullshit Batman. But I personally believe that in a world where gods and metahumans exist, this Batman makes a lot more sense than people think. And I won't say any more than this, as I intend to make a in-depth video on him. So look forward to it. Coming back to the topic, 
This is who I believe the man among gods is like. And if I have to write this Batman, I won't write him that much differently from the current writers. Though I will explore the side of him being almost a superhuman as well as a super genius a bit more. He will have a Robin with the explanation that in the DC universe therapy just sucks as there is very little examples of it ever working which I will use to justify the reason of making them a Robin rather than sending them to therapy. There won't be many changes to his utility belt and about his intellect. He had a tested IQ of 196 when he was around 11 which he had taken at let's just say not the best of circumstances so it could be either higher or lower but whatever the case may be he was an absolute genius and he has only grown since then and compared to us humans this batman is a superhuman though technically all humans from DC universe are superhuman I will explain why on some other video but all you need to know is the humans in the world of DC are definitely different from our own. What makes him so special is the fact that this Batman can beat anyone with his tactical ability and some prep time. Adding to that an inexhaustible amount of money and resources and you have an invincible Batman who can stand among gods. This Batman faces geniuses, superhumans, metahumans and gods at a daily basis. Most of which have a single identity and are similar to the rogue gallery of the current Batman with some slight alterations here and there to make more sense. For example, characters like Clayface and Poison Ivy will be super strong metahumans. Whereas characters like Two-Face and Penguin would be super rich, politically powerful men with an army of goons at their control. Whereas characters like Freeze and Riddler use their intellect and know-how to succeed. And finally the Joker will be an absolute unpredictability, at times super genius, at times moron, at times leader, at times loner, but will always be a challenge to Batman. That's how I will ride the man among gods. And finally the in-between. This Batman is the most common form of Batman we have seen so far. Heck, with the sole exception of Batman who laughs, even the examples I gave for both kinds of Batman are sort of in-betweens. As most of them are so smart and strong that it makes them more or less a superhuman. Not enough to be called a god, but enough to be more than human. So in summary, there are three types of Batman. The detective is a man who fights criminals and a city full of corruption. The man among gods is a superhuman who defends his city from monsters. And the in-between is as said an in-between. Not quite superhuman, but more than human. And with this, I'm done with the three types of Batman. And with that, the video has reached its end. So if you liked it, give us a like, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell button, and alvida.